Sugar Poke is going to show you how augmented reality can hack public health. And that's what we're doing today. And imagine you go shopping for salad dressing because you want to put something on your salad. I would actually never do that. To be frank, I'll share a secret. I make my own. I use oil and vinegar, salt and pepper, because I'm a Parisian. And <laughs> the French touch is my Dijon mustard. Um, that's all you need to make salad dressing. However, most people get busy. And they don't have time to do it. So what do they do? They go to the supermarket. It's overwhelming. There's about 500 SKUs of the 500 different products for salad dressing sections. At least two, 300 in your own supermarket. How are we going to pick one that's healthy? Does it even exist? That's what we're trying to show, to do, to deliver. I presented the concept of this back at just a couple of months ago at MIT at the Media Lab. Today it's real, and I encourage you to download it with me. I will show you. So, now we're back at the supermarket. And I want to find a healthy product. But what do I see? Four teaspoons of added sugar. That's what it says on there. And I keep moving down, and I see fat-free has 12. Yeah, it's funny because you think fat-free, right? Three times as much sugar. And you keep going down, and, and let's go down the aisle. Yes, 16 on the call, so. OK, ranch. Might be not as good as Italian, but hmm, maybe it is. Oh my god, Catalina, 32 teaspoons. Now, this is a real number, and you're like, for a second, I'm just poking labels here through image recognition and using AR. But what if I were a user who reads label, and I try to look around and I say, oh, sugar, first ingredient. But who reads label anymore? That's the problem. The people who need it the most do not. And so I'm still trying to find a healthy salad dressing. I'm down to wishbone. And here's 15 for Italian. Oh, my god. That one has actually 44 teaspoons of sugar. And you're like, uh, again, if you look, it actually says high fructose corn syrup right there. But most people don't know that is sugar. And they don't realize it's half of the bottle. And it's also the first ingredient on the list meaning the largest quantity in the bulk. I was horrified. I thought, my god, there's even more than water or oil. There is. And lucky enough, there was one. It's right here. A green label. Catch them all. That's the game. <laughs> and as we go back, now you see how it works. You see the power of this, and you see why we created this and, and what the potential impact is for public health as we try to address an epidemic that's called childhood obesity. And I'm going to run down a few images, but I encourage you to actually don't read the label, poke through, and try it for yourself by downloading the app because we're launching this officially today, and that means you can actually download it from the App Store as a demo. Only does four brands of salad dressings, but this is a start. And with your help, we're going to build it up and make it go over the entire supermarket. Why is it important? Because these are among the healthy products. The ones people think are so healthy because eating salad, veggies, that's what you hear all day. Well, not if you kill your salad with five, I'm sorry, five teaspoons on average sprinkling your salad with sugar, because that's what people do. They put more in their salad than in their coffee. And if you just look at this number for a second, 3%, you think, yeah, what is it? It's 3% of the total consumption of added sugar coming from sauces and salad dressings in the US. How much is that? 680 million pounds of sugar in those little bottles. It includes ketchup, yes. So again, there are two solutions. Either you make it yourself, and I kid you not, I, I teach as a volunteer a cooking class on nutrition at Harvard Medical School, where one of our first classes every semester has been how to make your own salad dressing. So you can tell your patients 
don't ever buy a bottle again. That last bottle you bought, that is the last bottle. Keep it in your fridge, but then refill it yourself. You know how much it costs? Without the sugar and the water, $1.25. And that includes the French touch, the mustard. <laughs> you could substitute oregano if you like Italian dressing. So this is what we do. We're launching today officially a hack on public health. And we need your help. We have a partner, Pandora Reality, a leading firm in New York in augmented reality that's been around and, and building these. And thanks to them, we're able to deliver this demo app. Together, we're going to take it to the next step. I like their logo because it's green and black, like I tend to dress these days to remind people, chase the green ones. And the way we are going to build it together is we're encouraging people to kick on our Kickstarter page and choose the products they want, the product you want to put on the app as we scale up for the entire supermarket. So you could choose three of your favorite products or build it for the community. Make it available for a $1,000 pledge. You can poke an entire brand, say yogurt. Hmm, healthy, not so healthy? I want to find out how much sugar in that vanilla yogurt. You can do that. Pick Chobani yogurt, we'll put it on the app. Or pick the entire aisle of yogurts, or cereal, or granola. And again, that's how we're going to build it. Think of another application, become a partner, and give us other ideas of how we could poke. Say you're at the vending machine. You can poke through the glass using the app and see for every snack and beverage how much added sugar there is in every single one of them. Again, we can build it together and make this real. Thank you.